in this episode I will share with you my most favorite feeder hooks when feeder fishing for bream, roach and similar species. Before digging into various hooks patterns, let me quickly explain what properties I want my feeder hook to have, so I would consider it a good feeder hook. First of all, I have to mention when I'm fishing for skimmers and roach, and I uh, will be threading my baits just on the hook, I want that my hook would be spade and not eyed, but spade and I believe that spade and hook in the same pattern will be about 20% lighter, 10 to 20% lighter than eyed hook, and that's obviously a, a bonus. So uh, another big property uh, I'm, I, I want my feeder hook to have is that it would be very, very sharp. Again, we should talk here about two types of sharpness. One type of sharpness is uh, when you take the hook out of the packet, I want to be like super, super, super sharp. And also I want that my sharpness would remain during fishing. I want to be able to catch a couple of fish on the same hook and uh, I want that the hook would be as sharp as it was when I took it out of the packet. Also uh, I want that my feeder hook would be quite large when it comes to the shape but it would be made out of quite fine wire. So uh, I want that because when uh, I'm feeder fishing, uh, I most of the time I relying on uh, uh, fish self hooking themselves. So I want very good uh, hooking properties and bigger hook obviously helps that. But again, uh, if I would be using big big hooks and which are made out of uh, very thick wire, it would obviously mean that the hook would be heavy and not very delicate and, and I wouldn't get as many bites. So, but if I can get a big hook, which is made out of fine wire, that's ideal. And also I want that my hook would have quite a wide gape. Wide gape obviously means that uh, hooking properties will be much better as well, because obviously hook's point will be offset more to the side. Uh, where the line and hooks uh, shank is, so it means that it will snag the fish much easier. And also I want that my hook would be like uh, painted. I don't like really a nickel hook or wide hooks, which are very shiny. I want that my hook would be as concealed as I can get it. So, and Teflon coated hooks are the best for that. And now let's dig in into my favorite hook patterns for feeder fishing. Drennan Bobless Silverfish Maggot Hooks. These hooks are very, very nice hooks. There are fine hooks. They also, their shape is quite nice. They are like, not really crystal shape, but they do have widish gape, but not super wide. And the hook's point is uh, beaked as well. So it's going, it's a little bit bent and it's going towards the shank of the hook. And they are quite sharp hook as well. You can catch quite a few fish on a single hook and they also they are quite strong hook for the for the size uh, of the wire because they are forged so the strength is is here as well i'm using these hooks when fishing most of the time uh, using magos and pinkies uh, i like to fish like say single pinky on size 20 it works very very well or should i say size 20 then when I using like single maggot, most of the time I would opt for a size 16. And uh, the only disadvantage of these hooks I would say is that uh, they are still, uh, even though they are covered in bronze color, they are like painted, but still they are a little bit like reflective. They are not completely matte. So that's probably one uh, disadvantage of these hooks. But other than that, very, very nice hooks when fishing for like smaller skimmers, especially those very small skimmers, which are not easy to catch. Roach, but still they have the strength, which allows to land those bonus fish if you would catch one.
Guru LWG. These hooks are very, very nice hooks. They are strong hooks. They are a little bit thicker in wire when it comes, uh, if you would compare them to Drennan uh, Silverfish Maggot hooks, but they are much, much stronger as well. So uh, even on the small size, you can hook quite a decent size carp or other big fish like a bream on size 20 let's say and you will be able to land it no problem at all the hook won't, uh, won't straighten and won't bend at all so yeah and i'm using uh, these hooks more or less in the same situations uh, as i'm uh, as i was telling uh, where i'm using those adrenaline uh, silverfish maggot hooks just i'm using these hooks when i uh, know that in the when you am fishing there are some carp and there is a big chance to hook a big carp or a tench something like that so in general when i need a little bit stronger hook but still when i'm fishing like for smaller species so yeah uh, for example if i would use size 20 i would go for uh, for single or double uh, pinky or maybe single maggot and uh, for size 18 i would use a single maggot for size 16 single or double maggot or sometimes even triple maggot like hooked through the thinner end and uh, yes these hooks also have a little bit a wider gape so the hooking properties are very very good as well and also it's very good that these hooks are painted like in a dark brown color so they're not completely matte so they do reflect the light a little bit but still they are quite dark so and, th and that's really a bonus. Guru F1 pellet bubble hooks. These hooks actually were designed to be fished on the pole and uh, when soft expander pellets are used on the hook but the shape when these hooks actually came out it wasn't that long time ago probably a couple of years back so when i saw these hooks i realized that these hooks have the perfect shape for feeder fishing and i, I tried them immediately after they came out and they are actually the the best and my favorite hooks for feeder fishing they they are very very good hooks because they uh, do meet all the requirements I have for the feeder hook. So yeah, the wire is relatively fine, but they are strong hooks. And also the bend of the hook is that uh, in the shape where the gap is quite wide, so it's very good. And uh, then it means that hooking properties are very, very good. And the point is beaked as well, so it's bent and it's going towards the uh, uh, shank of the hook. And also they are super super sharp when you take them out of the packet i would say they are one of the sharpest uh, spade and hooks i, I tried and uh, the sharpness uh, holds on quite well during the fishing you, you so you can land quite a few fish on a single hook and and still it will be as sharp as it was when you took, took it out of the packet and uh, also they are Teflon coated, actually it's saying on the packaging, PTFE coated, so it means that the hooks are not reflective and uh, it means that they will be spooking many many less fish. As for the usage, I like to use uh, single or double pinkies uh, with, a, with a size 20 single or, or double or triple pinky on size 18. Also, it works very well when uh, on size 18 you would be using like very small pieces of worm or a caster, something like that, just smaller baits. Size 18 is probably one of my favorite hooks when a delicate presentation is needed. Then, if you need to like step up a little bit, you can put, I don't know, four maggots hooked through the like uh, thinner end on size 14 and still as, uh, as the gap is quite wide the hooks point will be exposed quite well so still even though it will be like decent size uh, bait the hooking property still will be perfect with this size 14 and yeah on size 16 you can put probably a couple maggots four pinkies 
even uh, a little uh, sweet corn, smaller uh, grain of sweet corn as well would work on size 16 or 14 even better. So yes, these hooks are by far my favorite hooks for feeder fishing. When I'm fishing for uh, bream, skimmers, roach and other silver fish. Amazing hooks really. Gamakatsu A1 fine feeder hooks. These hooks are relatively new as well. I think they came out a couple years back and I have to say that the shape of the hook is very very good for feeder fishing and uh, exactly as it says on the packaging it's the, uh, these hooks were designed for feeder fishing and they are actually and uh, the only disadvantage of these hooks is that uh, it's not easy to uh, get them in the shops just a few shops here in the UK have them but uh, I hope in, in, it will change in the future so yeah these hooks have very very wide gape and also the point is straight so it means uh, i mean it means that you can't really fish uh, use and use these hooks on like gravelly bottoms because uh, then uh, straight hooks point will get blunt uh, quicker because it's straight but it means that hooking properties are just amazing because it's wide, uh, wide gape and uh, the straight, uh, the point being straight. And also the point, uh, as you can see in this little uh, picture or drawing here, uh, the hook's point, it also, it's not straight, like it's going to the side a little bit. So, and, and uh, this helps hooking as well. So yeah, these hooks are super, super sharp when you take them out of the packet. Uh, and also the sharpness uh, remains quite well, uh, of course, uh, given that you are fishing on like softer bottoms and not like gravel or stone, something like that. And the sharpness remains even uh, when you land like quite a few fish as well, so that's good as well. Another very important thing to mention is, is that these hooks are like quite fine wire. For example, that's a size 12 and as you can see, ho hopefully in the packet here, that these hooks are quite fine for a, for a made out of quite a fine wire for the size of the hook and that's a bonus as well. Another bonus is that these hooks are uh, covered like in black nickel or something like that. They do reflect the light a little bit but still it's very very good. It, they, they do look black when you look them like not in the packet and uh, in the and not in as good light as uh, as I'm filming at the moment. So yeah, very very nice hooks. Just as I mentioned, if you can get uh, them in the shops, buy quite a few packets in different sizes and keep them. Uh, otherwise, uh, you will be struggling to get them on the constant basis. At least uh, uh, I'm not. I'm. I don't know where to get them. Like in all the sizes, uh, when I'm filming this episode, so it's spring 2019 over than that very very nice hooks this is something a little bit different these hooks were produced for a Japanese market and as you can see on the packaging there aren't many characters we could really understand it's only saying grand company but uh, in reality these are Varivas hooks uh, Varivas is quite known brand when it comes to everything like lure fishing like braid lines lures hooks uh, rods everything really but when it comes to lure fishing they are not very well known for like European species like silver uh, silverfish species and tackle related to, to that so but still they do have a couple patterns of hooks which are very very good and very very well suitable for feeder fishing and uh, I'm sure that you won't be able to get hold of these hooks but if you will I would advise to try a couple of packets so yeah these hooks are super fine for the uh, well they are made out of super fine diameter uh, of wire for the size of the hook 
and uh, of course it's very difficult to judge the hook size but for example it's size 1 here and uh, the wire diameter it says actually is 0 0.5 Three seven millimeters, and I would say that this size, uh, this size one, it's about size ten, size twelve, which we know like here in Europe and uh, in the UK. So, uh, and I don't know any overhooks which would be made out of such a fine wire, and would be such a big hooks as well. So, uh, th that's ob obviously a bonus because uh, obviously we have a big hook which is like light hook because it's, it's made out of fine wire but uh, again as it's big fish most likely will be will pick it up because it's light but hooking properties will be very very good so yeah I, I use these hooks most of the time when I need like more delicate presentations for uh, presentation for smaller skimmers especially and uh, when I'm not fishing for a lot of bites as well so yes, then I use these hooks because I want to uh, to be able to hook every fish which picks up my bait. But also I'm not expecting hundreds of baits as well, uh, bites as well. So these hooks are quite sharp when you take them out of the packet. Actually they are very sharp when you take out of the packet. But uh, the sharpness uh, does not remain very well during fishing so you, you can't really catch hundreds of fish on a single hook so you catch maybe five or ten fish and then uh, you will see that the hook is not as sharp as it was when you took it out of the packet so the hook links and will uh, will require uh, to be replaced but yeah in certain situations these hooks are the best if you if you can get them that is And that's it from me for today. I hope you have found this video useful and you will be able to use this information in your own feeder fishing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.